Nobody wants yesterday's newspaper. I need that press running every night. Printing presses have hundreds of mechanical and electrical components. As they approach a failure state, increased heat signatures can be seen using FLIR infrared cameras. FLIR cameras allow technicians to see potential press problems before downtime occurs. So maintenance costs are reduced and the presses keep on running. When I go out in the plant with the camera, what I'm looking for is equipment generating heat. So you'll see particular items glowing with the camera where visually your eyes would never pick that up. I'm able to take the flare camera and walk through that press room and in less than 15 minutes I know what's hot and what's not hot. Flare camera measures up uh, against the other technologies because I can view more equipment quicker. Instead of taking four hours to collect vibration analysis and go through all that data, the flare camera gives me the ability to streamline my, my whole predictive maintenance program, uh, keeping it cost effective. I like the flare camera for its ease of use. Instantly out of the box, I was able to use the camera and then through the training courses, improve the, the level of use of the camera. The abilities of this camera are endless. The reporter software is, it gives us the ability to generate a report with all the data that was attached to that, that actual image to make it easier for someone who isn't on the production floor every day. They can see a picture of, let's say, a clutch. They can see the infrared scan. They can see the vibration. Once you put all three of those pictures together in one report, they say, ah, oh, okay, this is where we are. Since I bought the camera, I would say within a two-week period, the camera paid for itself. I noticed that one of our tower motors, a 150 horsepower motor, was at 240 degrees. We shut the press down, I got our electricians to go down, and they found the fresh air supply knocked off the motor. So the motor wasn't being cooled properly. So we saved probably $130,000 by saving that motor. I would highly recommend the